Well, you can't really hold your breath because as the as the pressure all goes down, the first thing you have to worry about is barotrauma. So, like in your lungs and in your sinuses, and your, it's all going to like like an overinflated balloon. So, if it's, it's like if you try to hold your breath, that's a wrong thing to do because oh. you're going to. So you have to let the breath out. Okay. <sighs> yeah. You can't really do that for very long, though. Like the way people hold their breath underwater, they actually have breath in their lungs. Yeah. Right. But they're not equalizing with the pressure as they go down, you know, mm. when they do those, like, free diving things, right? right? So uh, if you're going to equalize, you're going to have to let the air out or it's going to just expand uh, and, and it'd be extremely painful and, and, and hurt you. Uh, so you could do that, but then eventually you get to the point where the, where the pressure gets so low that the, all the liquid in your tissues starts turning into gas, and it's called ebulism. And then you'll start getting this massive swelling, like your neck will puff up.